What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to episode 39. We are starting here from the Grand Cloister, and now that the Lake of Rod is knocked out, and it's time to wrap up Ronnie's full quest line. So, this place is pretty straightforward. It's basically just a connecting area. A um, couple of annoying enemies to deal with, but nothing too bad. Jump across initially and go around here for a piece of candy. Come back, just go ahead and drop. And then we drop again. Then we drop again. Bonk this thing. Take those things out. Grab the golden rune 10. Grab that. Butterflies if you want them. That should come for me. I'm just going to hang out here. Alright, so right over here where there's some loots, there's also going to be a seed beast, so just run. Once it starts rumbling, there we go, time to turn around. This thing is going to come for us, we just want to fight it over here where we have lots of space to maneuver. out for the rod explosion. It's honestly the most deadly thing this thing does. I guess the tail sight's pretty deadly. Oh no, it does have a thing where it grabs you. That's worth mentioning. It'll like wind up and try to like eat you. Once you get a stagger though, it's all over. Alright, golden seed. Pop that just to get a little bit of regen going. Go grab these two loots. Just be ready on your boluses. So our seven and our six. And we are basically done with the boluses here. Just in case you fall in the river, keep them on for now. Um, but with that, we continue along to get the centipede men. After the centipede men. I mean, well, you can honestly just run past these guys if you want. I don't personally recommend it just because, you know, you've, you've, well, you've seen what these things can do. And you've seen what they can do with their ability. And if they start, you know, you try to run past and then they all start shooting their bullshit, you're going to have a really bad time. I recommend just killing them. I don't think they even upgrade. I didn't upgrade my mimic to full. That's disappointing. Oh no, this is looking bad. Nope. Hang out by this. Y'all can come to me. Probably leave to upgrade the mimic anyway. Oh, 
All right. So with all of them dead, your reward is a dagger with Scarlet Rot. It's a lot of effort for something you probably won't use. But hey, maybe you want to dual wield daggers. Maybe you want a bleed dagger and a rot dagger or something like that. Well, here you go. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Um, we're going to warp back. I'd rather have my mimic upgraded for this next fight. This next fight is definitely going to be a challenging one. So, we want to be as prepared as possible. Go. Out of rooms. We'll fix that problem real fast. How much are you worth? 5,000? Okay, so I'm going to need all of you. Greet, are you here for spit? Uh, so she had a bunch of dialogue right there that I kind of just just bulldozed over about, you know, like, hey, something you should know. Um, she is talking about the Dung Eater, who we can now go in here and talk to. His quest line doesn't really get going all that much until later. They involve seedbed cursed, but go and talk to him for now. Anyway, uh, once we find a seedbed curse, we can talk to him and that will kind of start up his quest line. Um, he is the one that I said we could turn into a summon, but doing his quest line will get us his armor and it'll get us an item we need for one of the non-trophy secret endings. But anyway, let's head back on over to the Grand Cloister and it's time for Estelle. Um, now magic builds, faith builds, y'all should have no problem with this guy. Melee builds, things might be a little harder. Uh, this is probably going to be our most challenging fight up to this point in the game. He, I want to say he's a trophy boss. I'm almost positive he's a trophy boss. Um, but he's not a boss we have to kill now. Everything we're doing right now is optional. So we're just going to give a second while these guys pass. I'm going to talk about Estelle. So Estelle is a Voidborn. He does big galaxy style explosions. Um... He, um, in terms of melee, things to look out for. When he slams his hands, it's going to be a, a bunch of explosions that you need to look out for. We're just going to run. I'm not tired of waiting for these guys. I might need to heal once. It's fine. Um, yeah, let's just run straight through. It's just right over here. we got to get in a coffin. But so, yeah, he does explosions when he slams down his hands. Um, he'll lift up his body. And then, like, you'll see his tail lift. And then there's a tail slam that goes down. Head on over here, rest in the coffin. Um, when he, like, brings his face towards the ground, it's going to be a laser beam. That hurts a lot if it connects, so just be ready to roll. Um, around 50%, he'll begin to teleport away. When he starts teleporting away, he does an explosion as he teleports away, and then he reappears somewhere else. He can also cast meteors down on top of you. So, there's just, like, there's a lot of shit going on. Um, second half of the fight, he starts doing this thing called Waves of Darkness. You'll have to just kind of learn the roll timing for it, but it's like, boom boom and there's basically waves that will come out and try to hit you and your best bets to roll through them but um let me see we don't need you on right now we don't need you on let me go back to stamina i mean he's not he's not super terrible he should be fine but anyway pop this put our buff on we're going to go in. Wait a second to summon. He's going to queue up a face laser. Is he? Yep, here we go. This is the mouth laser. Yeah, you can see that thing comes out quick. It's like a rail gun. And if you can hit the head, that's great. There's the tail slam. Uh, if you can't hit the head, next best thing is going to be hitting his arms. The body is not good to hit. Also, that, that's like a grab with his face. Don't let that get you, obviously. I mean, that should be kind of self-explanatory. Like, oh, what, the giant grab? Here are the hand explosions that I was telling you about. And see, he'll just sweep, and then there's going to be a bunch of explosions that happen. There are one of his explosive teleports. Oh, God, no, he came in and grabbed me. Oh, my God.
got a bleed proc on him. That's good. That bleed proc is going to help out a lot. He's probably getting ready for meteors. Yep. Let's get ready to roll like crazy. We need probably one, two more big bonks on him. There it is. Estelle is down. There is our trophy. Go on and get this. And then from here, we're actually going to teleport over to Renala. Uh, you remember that when we finished killing the Baleful Assassin, we were given a key. That key opens the chest over here. So go on and grab that. That gives us access to the Dark Moon Ring. And then with that, we can head back to where Estelle was. And we can go forward. Previously, there was a seal covering this up. Let's head on over this way. We'll discuss the Remembrance before the end of this episode. This has taken us up to this area that is seemingly unreachable. But with Estelle down, we are finally here at the Moonlight Altar. Now, I'm going to be honest, you don't belong here right now. Uh, this is a very high level zone. It's filled. There's like dragons. Uh, there's a Evergill that's crazy. There's like a memory tower we could do in some ruins. And, and some of the stuff, like the ruins... You could probably handle the ruins. You could probably get through those fine. Um, the dragon. We might even be able to beat the dragon. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna try and beat the dragon just because I'm, you know, curious if I can take him down right now. Um, but if you like, honestly, I wouldn't recommend spending like a ton of time fighting here. This stuff is very high level, and really, it's, it's higher than we we should be messing with right now. But dragons are easy to bait. I think that's enough. Yes, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, so we want to go straight north. Looks like we're going towards the moon. Nope, never mind. Northeast. Like we're going towards that structure. That's the that's the moon folk ruins. We don't want to do that yet. Um so for now, just a beeline for the structure. You may remember the dragon that we encountered a bit ago when we first met Ronnie. Well, they are back, and they are angrier than ever before. They are also very high health. But so for now, just run in here. There's a bunch of starlight shards we're going to grab. And we'll never be low on starlight shards again. Alright, now we'll grab this grace. Plus, having this grace means if you die at the dragon, you're just, like, you're right here, you know? So, we're gonna take one attempt at this guy. And like I said, he's, he's, he's pretty tanky. This guy is gonna be... Well, actually, I don't know, man. I thought Radon was gonna be pretty tanky, but they nerfed his ass, so maybe the dragon will be just as easy. Blood Flame Blade, and then I'm gonna summon up my... Add that torch off, right? Yeah, just making sure. I don't need my summon deciding that he wants to do dumb shit. We're actually doing a lot of damage to him. Oh, God, no. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I, can't, I can't even be mad at that. <laughs> oh, man. 
That was that was funny. And I've had that rune arc active for so long. And then when I finally lose it, it's because I'm trying to escape dragon breath and I run right off a freaking cliff. This has gotta be the dumbest way to die. Alright, let's do this again. Bleed proc. And he does this, roll through the blade. Well, looks like he went for the mimic instead, but yeah, roll through the blade. Oh, we got a stagger. Bro, he is dead. This is crazy. I mean, he gave my mage trouble, but to be fair, he is a flintstone dragon. Melee will beat his ass. And for beating his ass. You get a hundred and twenty thousand runes. We also get a Duelist Moonblade, which honestly is one of the best sorceries in the entire game. It's crazy. It has three hit potential. There's two hit boxes when you just actually swing the sword, and then there's a beam that comes off of it, and it does frostbite, and it pierces. Super, super, super good sorcery. Um, we can also now get access with him down. We can get access to uh. Actually, no. Yeah, we didn't need him for a Dragon Breath. Never mind. I'm thinking of the, the other Frost Dragon. But so, yeah, with him dead, go ahead. Spend all those runes. Let me get this up. Okay, and now let's see. You go to 7.11. You go to 7.13. We're going to keep... We're going to start prioritizing our dexterity. And we're going to head on down into here. A little dark. And here is the doll. Go ahead, put the finger on your, or the ring on the finger of the little doll waifu. That's not creepy at all, right? I think the implication here is that she killed the three the, the fingers down here. So it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee, travel the and once all is So, with doing that, we have now fulfilled the conditions to get the trophy ending involving Rani. In addition to the Dark Moon Greatsword, another one of the legendary armaments we need for that achievement. Um, so... There's a couple other things up here that, what are we at, 20 minutes? Yeah, let's do a couple things. We'll go over there. We can start from right back up top. Um, but that's it. You're, well, no, actually, hang on. There's more. There's more. There's more. Not not like Ronnie stuff, but um, with her done, we do, 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 do. We want to go back to Ronnie's Rise. I almost forgot about all this stuff. I want to buff up. How can you never persuade 
He's gonna attack you, so I'm just gonna go in and get the first hit. Oh god. Back away from that. Explodes. This guy should be here for a long time, so if you can't kill him right now, no worries, you know. You'll get him at some point. Oh, there it is. So with Blake down, you get his greatsword and his armor. Of course, we have the mask, so now you can be Wolfman if you want to be. Now we're going to head on over to Celavis's tower. Which, um, obviously, since we're done the Ronnie's quest line, all of her NPCs die. If you are trying to do, uh, if you're trying to get the puppet, the, uh, Dung Eater puppet, you wouldn't want to complete that final step of Ronnie's quest line until after you have the Dung Eater puppet, because, you know, Celibus is now gone. Which I guess I could have said that before, but if you're following this, you're following with my, um, I'll go ahead and pick her up as well. Right now we're following what my recommendations are for for the series. Honestly, Dung Eater, I mean, Dung Eater is something you should do um, on a subsequent playthrough, getting his thing, because right here we can we can get him for one of the secret endings. For that, we're just gonna head north, drop over on here. Peta's bell bearing and the sleeping arrow puppet. Head over to War Counselor EG. I'm gonna talk to him, tell him everything's done, and then rest a few times, and he also disappears. Oh, have you heard? Along the dark path of him, it would not have been possible. As Lady Rani's War Counselor, you and O. And think of how did he break flow? Lies became a curse. I made a great. I'll catch up when I do. Let's go ahead and warp. And now he is dead. And we get his bell bearing in the mirror helm. And he's just going to sit here for a while and just get torched. But now we can head on back. And we have a bunch of ball bearings to turn in. Where am I going? Going this way. Now we're wrapped up with Ronnie's quest line. Ronnie's quest line is done. In addition to all of the extra stuff. God, I have so many. So, um, Celavis, his spells are there, of course. Top stuff is there. B stuff is still there. EG stuff is still there if you need those somberings. Too, is the Gustock stuff because I murdered him and then Peta who just dies um, which I've been considering doing a build using two of these I feel like it would be pretty damn good um, let's get an extra Marvel tier and then with the other bell bearings one two three four five and six we can now just purchase them outright so that should definitely help with your upgrade needs a good bit um, yes okay so that is done um, you know, instead of the Moonlight Altar, since, like, because the thing is, we could do this, but, like, over here, for example, is one of the best summons in the game. Super hard jail fight. It'll probably one-shot you right now. Um, there's more dragons all over the area. This down here gets you a memory stone. Uh, these ruins had, like, upgrade mats. These ruins, I don't even remember what these ruins had, but, honestly, it's just better for us to come back to that zone later. Um, so let's go do the, we're gonna go do the towers. So I didn't do the towers. We can knock those out. They're, they're kind of inconsequential at this point. Real fast, I'm going to grab a piece of loot that I forgot up here a long time ago. Oh, where 
interested at talk to him. My leg. My last. <laughs> There we go. The Ivory Sickle, which is kind of pointless, but whatever. Um, old Albus is going to die. That just happens no matter what. Let's go to the Four Belfries. We'll knock this out. So previously we only did one of these. Uh, you could have come back and done this whenever. We have the other imbued sword keys for this. One of them we get from Ray Lucaria, the other one we got from the uh, the magical city over in Caleb. I don't remember what it's called. But the, the loot we get out of this is, is I mean, it's, it's like all, it's all around resist, but it's not that good. Like the idea is instead of having something that would give you 100 lightning resist, this will give you like 30 lightning fire, holy, and magic. So they're very rarely used, but anyway. So this is more knock around stuff. I pointed this out back when we were over here, but you're just going to work your way down this ledge. Keep going down. Keep going down. necklace that increases all of your immunities so frostbite bleed frenzy rot poison everything goes up and then there's this dude he we don't get anything from him but we're gonna beat his ass anyway because why not you want some of this you want some of this hoping for a flawless. I jumped when I should have parried. Yeah, so he's down. Warp back on over to the Belfries again. And this part, this one might be a little, a little tricky. Well, not tricky, but it's just, it's going to be difficult. We're going to, uh, through Missoula, very briefly here, you'll, uh, get a taste of the Beastmen enemies, and there's two of them. But considering we have beat Estelle, I think you can probably tackle these. It's honestly a really cool zone. You actually get to come here. This is also this this coming over here was how I figured out how to find Dragon Lord. Cause I was over here and was looking at this and was like, huh, there's a platform that goes all the way. I think I can hop all the way down to the tornado. And I mean that that wasn't how you get him, but hopping down that way is what led me to the path to find him. Pretty cool stuff. So you can see two of them. Um, let me actually, you know what? Just because these guys are really annoying, I want to see if I can just do this. This isn't worth it. You could probably just cheese them like that if you really wanted to.
kill this one first. He is annoying. He's a little ranged bullshit. Yeah, we'll be just fine beating them down. Uh, after you kill them, right on over here. And there we go with the Pearl Drake Talisman. Uh, so from here, Noxtella's done, Lake of Rod is done, Start of Moonlight Altar is done, and up next we have the Deep Root Depths. So we're going to be starting from the Great Waterfall Crest. Um, getting done this area will officially knock out all of the underground zones of the game. Um, between that and the portion of Kayla we did in Liurnia and Limongrave, that's a good chunk. We're, we're not quite halfway through, but we're definitely coming up on it. So we'll wrap things up here. We'll have more coming your way soon, and I will catch you all then.